welcome out here to Washington, D.C. We're back at the airport where our adventure started here in the nation's capital, Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport to be specific. We got here at about 8.30 Peoria time, and we have been going nonstop. And it's kind of hard to recap a long day like this in just a few minutes. But I got to tell you, a lot of the veterans that we spoke with were very happy to start at Arlington National Cemetery. They said that it put them in a good frame of mind to appreciate everything else that they were going to see for the rest of the day. If you've never seen it before, a soldier from the 3rd Infantry Regiment takes 21 steps across a mat, changes direction, waits 21 seconds, and then proceeds again. And he does this for 30 minutes until he is relieved. Many of the vets on our flight were awed by the discipline on display. Very impressive in how every detail is taken care of. And all those guys, exactly the same height, put one foot in front of another. Very difficult marching and timed uh, very respectful. From there, it was off to the Korean Memorial, honoring the war that Fitch played a part in back home as an F-84 pilot. This memorial is 19 soldiers climbing up a hill towards the American flag. Kind of eerie, especially at night. From there, off to the Vietnam Memorial, where... Uh, we met up with Randolph Prunty, who came on this flight to get six names off of that wall. And we're going to have more about his story coming up tomorrow on Heart of Illinois News at 10 o'clock. But this story is not over with today. You still have a chance to do your part. At 9.30, we are going to land at the Peoria International Airport. We hope to see you there lining the walls in the lobby to give these veterans the welcome home that a lot of them did not get. And we'll have more about that welcome that some of them are a little nervous about. I'll explain that coming up a little bit later this half hour. For now.